that's just reckless. Absolutely reckless. And it's not needed. Their father was killed by a driver going 100 miles per hour. Tonight they have something to say to him and to all of us. It is our big story tonight. Enough already. Two sisters want to share a message to reckless drivers after their father was killed earlier this month. Court records say the driver that hit their dad was going 59 miles per hour over the speed limit. Our Cassidy Williams live in the newsroom tonight with what we know about exactly what happened. It was around 8 o'clock on Friday, August 12th, that a silver charger crashed into a white Cadillac near Fond du Lac and Congress. The man driving the Cadillac died, and his daughters want you to know his name. Got to be real. It's easy to tell. Got to be real. 71 year old Joseph Papia had a lot of personality. Just never seemed down. I mean, it's always just vibrant. He taught his two daughters, Angelique and Andrea, to live every day like it was their last. Tomorrow is never promised, so don't ever take anything for granted. It's a lesson they learned during his life and now also in their father's death. Papia was killed in a crash near the intersection of Fond du Lac and Congress on August 12th. <sighs> Knowing how it happened only adds to their pain. It's just reckless, absolutely reckless. And it's not needed. 29 year old Vincent King is accused of being behind the wheel of the other car. He's charged with second degree reckless homicide. Court documents say King was driving 94 miles per hour on impact. The speed limit is 35. He won't even be able to see his grandchildren off in the high school or see neither one of us walk down an aisle. And I'm still trying to wrap my brain around why or how somebody would be driving at such a high speed. The sisters know they aren't the first family to bury a loved one due to a reckless driver. But they hope something can be done to prevent another family this grief. A bench warrant has been issued for Vincent King. Milwaukee police say he is not in police custody, but it's possible he could still be in the hospital because he was injured in the crash. The Papia sisters hope King serves as much time as possible. Live in the newsroom, Cassidy Williams, Fox 6 News. Oh, you feel their pain. All right, Cassidy, thank you.